Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me again today. If you are new, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today I'm doing a review on Elf's Mint Collection line. I bought a few of the products uh, that are in it and I had to give them a test. Of course, you know me with Elf. I'm a sucker to anything they put out. But yeah, if you want to see how I came up with this look, uh, please keep watching. And again, yeah, if you would consider hitting that subscribe button to join our family and also the notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. Okay, you guys, go grab your cup of coffee or a glass of wine and we're going to just hop right into this. Hi guys, yeah, so I got a few new products from e.l.f. that I wanted to share with you. And uh, yeah, it's really out of my comfort zone. They are colors that I would normally not choose. I was actually surprised e.l.f. launched this right now because it seemed like a more spring vibe to me. But some of the products in there really intrigued me that I really wanted to test them out now. And uh, yeah, it's their new, I guess, mint collection. Um, but the, yeah, this is their quad here. Um, so as you can see, it's, you know, like a mint mint shade. And uh, yeah, I it's just totally out of my comfort zone. So, you know, I'm trying to break away from that. And, you know, sometimes you try a product and it shocks you. You actually like how it turns out. So yeah, I got a few of the new um, products from that line. Um, and the first thing I want to talk about is this hydrating water essence. I actually needed a new essence. I normally use the secret key one and I'm out. So I wanted to try theirs and theirs is only $8. So, and it looks like this and what you're supposed to do is like put it on your hand. And as you can see, it's very watery. Um, but I do it a little differently. I actually transfer it into the spray bottle that I uh, bought on Amazon and it comes with a little funnel, so I just put it on there. And I prefer just to spray it on my face. And I think I, you know, use less product, so less product is wasted. And yeah, so I'm going to transfer that over real quick and be right back and show you how I apply that. Yeah, so I just uh, removed the stopper that was on there. I'm just going to reapply that and save the rest for when this one becomes empty now that it's in the spray bottle again i bought this on um, amazon it is a nice glass spray bottle it has a, a great mister on it and normally what i do is after i get out of the shower i would apply this before i'm um, applying all my skin products but for the sake of this video we're gonna apply it now and what i just do is spritz it all over my face and let that dry down um, normally and then I sometimes you know just will tap it in um, to let it soak into my skin a bit better and it, it does have a very nice feel to it it's very refreshing I'm just gonna keep moving on and you know I'll show you the products as we go of what I purchased but yeah I think the star of the show was gonna be this um, because it is their new line and they had another color I'll put a picture up here of the uh, those shades but I thought that these shades would probably um, work better for me. The other one, I was a little bit too nervous to try, <laughs> maybe in the spring. But unfortunately, mine did break in transit, but we're still going to make it work. You know how I, I make things work. Um, okay, so right now I am going to start with the eyes. And I actually also purchased um, their little uh, sticks. Uh, I've used these before. And I only got two of the shades. I believe there was three new shades. Um, but, you know, the other one was very similar to one of the other sticks I had purchased. So I didn't get that one. But this one looks like this. And um, there is a slight shimmer in there. Uh, and I'm just going to kind of blend this out to show you guys that it is blendable. This is the shade Melt With Me. And then the other shade here is, um, I believe I got it in Mint For You. And let's see what this looks like here. Oh boy. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's a matte finish and it's pretty minty. <laughs> so I don't know how it's going to perform on these mature eyes and how it's going to look. This might be too young of a look for me but we will see you never know you guys that's why we gotta just try new things and get out of our comfort zone okay i'm actually you think i'm gonna start with this mint for me all over my lid and i'm gonna put the shadows over it and see 
how they perform. And I also did get um, their new brush kit here. And this is the Mint Melt brush set. Yeah, so it comes with three brushes. We'll just see how they, um, you know, compare to their other brushes here. It looks like there's like a nice dome brush. Uh, this is a more flat, maybe for in the crease brush, and then a more fluffy uh, blending brush. So you, you know, could use that out over. They do seem a little bit more stiff than their other ones. So we will see about these. But, you know, you got three brushes for these were $8. So um, I'm going to start again, like I said, with this mint shade all over the eyelid. And I'm just going to see what this does. And I'm actually going to try this brush here and see how it blends out. And I'm sure you could also use your finger. Okay, so once you blend it out, it's really not that bad. Um, I'm going to add a little bit more, and I'm going to try my finger just to see how that works. Um, and you probably can even use this as a base. So um, I'm going to try that, and let's try this deeper shade on the outer corner. And the nice thing about these is that, you know, you can be as, you know, precise as you want to be or, um, you know, when you blend them out, it doesn't really matter. I do like these sticks. You know, I've tried like that other one before and I really enjoyed it. Um, or those other ones, I you know, the other video I have of my elf and I do like them. You know, they, I will say they're a little difficult or not difficult, but just different you know to blend out um you got to get used to the formula and how to work these now i will say these seem to be blending a little bit better than the other ones i purchased the first ones but it's almost like they're disappearing so and they're those are five dollars a piece um so let's just move into the shadows and i'm just going to do one eye on camera and then go off to the other one um, and I think I'm going to just start with, um, this shade here. It seems like a pretty decent trans transition shade. And by the way, you guys, today is my official birthday and I have officially moved into hashtag over 50. How fun is that? And I don't know about this brush. It seems kind of big. Uh, for what I'm wanting to do here. Uh, I think it might be okay. And to apply over that shadow stick, it's a little grabby, um, but I'm using a very light hand to not make it super patchy. So once I get a, a lot of the product down, um, I can go a little with a little bit more pressure. I'm not... I'm not liking this brush. I'm not, I'm just not. And it could be just because I'm just not used to it and I'm, you know, used to my other brushes. But let's try a different brush. Yeah, this glides a lot more better. This one seemed to want to, you know, stick, grab onto it. Um, I mean, if you just need like a little brush. Set. Now, I think they do work better with the shadow stick. So maybe, you know, maybe that's what they're exactly intended for. So... Okay, so this is a pretty pigmented color here, and it's pretty dark, but we'll see what we can come up with here. And I'm just going to bring it all over my eye. Then I'm going to kind of start pushing it up towards my eyebrow, like always. And I'm going to just try a trick that I saw on TikTok, and I will try to find the gal's name that i seen a uh, post it she is adorable um beautiful girl you know with beautiful red hair and uh but i saw her do a trick and i want to try it and see if it works and what she used was the cody air spun because what she did was just put it a little bit on her brush taps it off and then just goes over you know the top of it to lighten this color a little bit and to give like that blended effect where it kind of fades and it seems to be 
working pretty good. That's a good tip and a good trick. All right, so now I'm going to go in with a uh, smaller brush and use that deeper shade here that's broke. <laughs> but we will make it work. Just because it's broke doesn't mean it can't perform. Okay, so that's what that looks like. Um, and I don't know if it's because of that shadow stick. It looks a little patchy. All right, and now I'm actually going to go over this with that mint shade. And I'm going to use, I believe my, yeah, I'm going to use my finger. Oh, wow. Hey. Uh, <laughs> this is very bright. Wait till you see this, you guys. Ooh, hey, um, there is a shift in it. There's almost like a yellow um, shift in here. And I'm just going to go over the edge here, the top edge, kind of calm that down. Um, it's just different. You know, we'll keep moving on and see what that final look looks like. You never know, but at the end, it might look completely different. I'm going to go off and do my other eye, and I'll be right back. I did line my eyes with my favorite glam light off camera as well. I really enjoy this mint um stick here i don't know what it is i just really like it again i'm really super excited to try it more into the spring and summer okay and then back on that that essence you know i'm starting you know, everything's dried down and i do see a nice glow on my face and um let me grab the bottle here um this here the hydrating water and i do feel a nice hydrating sensation i do like it um what it says here is a lightweight and nourishing essence infused with moisturizing effects of purified water coconut water algae and coffee so all these are great products for the face again i'll keep you guys updated but um as of right now i do like how this is feeling on the skin all right so now i am going to use a few products that i have from for my collection or for my complexion and what i've been using is their elf oil control pore minimizer i have been really enjoying it and i only use it really on my nose um and i do help Think that is helping with um, my oil con control throughout the day. Boy, I just can't talk today. <laughs> I guess my 50 year old brain is just not clicking. And of course, I'm going to use my um, e.l.f. poreless putty. Uh, this is just a staple in my routine. I just use it all the time um, in my T zone area. I do, um, I, I just love it. You know, there's a few products that uh, I cannot live without. I probably should do a video on that. And I would be devastated if they ever stopped making it. And this is one of those products. Okay, another product I did purchase from them from this mint collection is this is called their hmm, <laughs> uh, this is called their Mint Melt Cooling Face Primer. And it looks like this. This one's supposed to have like a cooling effect. And uh, he has a little pump dispenser and. There we go. <laughs> and it looks like that. So it, this is looking very similar to my hard candy um, hydrating primer that I do love as well. And ooh, there is a mint scent. Smells really good. There is a cooling sensation. I am feeling a cooling sensation. It's very sticky, uh, which it's meant to be. Uh, it's supposed to help your foundation adhere better and last longer. Okay, so I was saying it's a unique gel texture primer that keeps makeup in place while hydrating your skin with a cooling effect. Um, the cooling effect I do um, agree with. It doesn't last very long, but initial the initial placement, it does. And then it says um, there is a hyaluronic acid, acid in here and antioxidants. So... Um, yeah, as of right now, I mean, it's pretty, this is more, I think, grabby than my, uh, hard candy one. And one, I'm just going to go off camera real quick, put on my complexion. I'm using the e.l.f. Um, CC cream. Remember in my e.l.f. video, I told you I had too light of a, a shade. I did contact e.l.f. and they sent me a new one. They didn't even ask for the other one to be returned. So I thought that was very great. Just a tip for you guys 
on e.l.f.'s website, they will make it right and do a shade match for you. I'm going to conceal my eyes and I'm going to use my Flawless uh, Brightening Concealer. And I'm also using the Hydrating Camo um, Concealer. And I did change shades than this and now I am using, this is Light Ivory. I do have a blemish here and I'm just going to cover that up. I probably shouldn't be using this light shade, but uh, I'm going to. And I like this here because not only does it lift your eye, but it also will clean up any uh, shadow that, you know, you want it more of a nice edged line. And by the way, there was no um, very, very, very little fallout from the shadows. I did get on their website too um, while I was there. This isn't a new product, but uh, I got their cream contour kit. Like I said in my, um, I think it was my Flower Beauty one um, video, that I want to try more cream products, but I'm not wanting to spend a lot of money right now because I don't know how I feel about them yet. So, and I'm going to be using the Real Techniques, and this is the uh, 220 brush. And I think I'm going to go in with this shade here, but I will say this Real Techniques brush works really well with cream products. And I also did get a little uh, smaller brush, it's the 431, and I'm just going to contour my nose just a touch. Um, again, I don't like using a lot of cream products on my nose, but if I stay away from this area, I think I'll be fine. Now I'm going to go in with my uh, color or cover girl, clean and fresh as usual, as usual. And I am going to bake a little bit, but not under my eyes. Just at the areas where I either produce a lot of oil or I just want a more chiseled effects. Okay, I'm just going to let all this <laughs> sit right here for a minute. And while that's uh, baking, I am going to go into my, of course, number seven and set my under eyes. It's going to set lightly under here. And now I'm going to go into a fluffy brush and just kind of wipe all the other baking powder away. Now I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. Halo Glow and just do a light layer of that. Yeah, I just have a very light layer, you guys. But I love this because it always adds such a pretty uh, a luminosity or something or just glow. I can't explain it. It's just such a beautiful powder. I just love it. Now I'm just going to use their highlighter. I, I do enjoy um, their highlighter as well. This is their Primer Infused Blush in. Uh, it's called Always Peachy. And a little bit on the tip of my nose. Okay, so I'm trying to decide what I want to use for under my eyes. I think I want to try the shadow stick. I'm going to use this type of brush here and just put it on my brush. I'm going to clean my brush and do I dare go in with this shade. No, well, let's just do it. Heck with it. I'm just going to do the inner corner here. Hmm, not too bad. And then I'm actually going to go into their um, the, the little palette here. And I'm going to just darken up my outer corner with that darkest deep shade. All right, now I did get two other glosses. This one is called Mint Chocolate, and this one here is called Mint Sprinkle. And this one does have, it's looking a little green, but it's not green. Um, it just looked, well, <laughs> but there's a lot of sparkles in there, so we will try it. I'm going to try both. Um, I'm going to go in first with the Mint Chocolate. Ooh, it smells, smells like mint chocolate. I love it. Yum. Yeah, I feel like I'm putting on <laughs> mint chocolate chip ice cream on my lips. The gloss is nice. 
It's not super sticky or anything. Very smooth, but um, this is what I'm getting out of it. Like I said, I would probably want to line it with a lip liner and probably just use this. It's nice. But let's try this too, this glitter. <laughs> there is a little mint uh, taste to, or smell to that as well. It's not as much as the other one. But they're very nice. I do like those. These are going to be great for summertime. I can't wait. And then I'm going to use their um, uh, mascara. And I forgot my eyelash curler. So we're just going to have to make this work. And I always look down in my mirror just to help keep it away from my eyelids. And transferring not saying that it never happens but it does help there's a tingling <laughs> on my lips um is this a plumper <laughs> because i'm feeling um a sensation on my lips let's take a look here what they're saying it's a high shine hydrating lip gloss that delivers plumping power effect in one swipe there's my answer yeah i i'm feeling definitely um that sensation it's uh it's not you know like those lip injectors from Too Faced but um you will feel it so if you do not like that sensation you will not like these because I'm still feeling it. <laughs> okay you guys this is the final look um let me know what you guys think about um how this look turned out and what you guys think about these shades um on me Again, I'm just not used to um, these bright shades on my eyes. I will say, though, I, it, it turned out better than I thought it was going to. <laughs> okay, so let's go through everything. I really think I'm going to enjoy this. I really seen a difference or felt a difference um, with applying my, my products. Um, I really enjoyed this. And like I said, I really enjoyed the this one. I'm not... I'm not sold on yet. Um, it would be nice maybe just for a nice application. Light, it's very sheer. You know, it goes very sheer. Um, and But they do have pretty good staying power. Um, I, so I do like I do like them. And the brush set, I think I would pass on these. It's just not my favorite. Um, you know, maybe I'll keep working with it. These are nice. Again, if you do like that sensation on your lips or don't mind it. But they're, they're nice. These are going to be... Very nice. I will use them again. And um, I'll let you know on this primer. As of now, it, it did exactly what it said. You know, I did feel that that um, cooling effect and uh, definitely sticky. This I, I think this one's stickier than that. Their gel pop, the jelly pop. Um, yeah, this one, this one's going to be good. I'm going to keep using this and let you guys know. And, you know, this, like, again, these aren't new. Um... Um, I'm just going to keep playing with them, see how I like them. And, uh, and, and this, you know, I, again, there's some great shades in here. I'm definitely going to get a lot of use out of these. And um, you never know, maybe I'll wear this look again, probably more in the spring or summer. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please hit that like button. That does help my channel so much. I appreciate everything you guys do for me and love here in your comments. So again, let me know what you guys think about this look. And until next time.